Before 1990s, we did giant open operations that were quite destructive to the patient. And in the 90s, there was a study that was uh, done within the VA system in the United States where radiation and chemotherapy could be used to treat these patients without surgery and that they would have an equal chance of killing their cancer. As technology has developed in the 90s, early 2000s to today, we can now go to what we consider minimally invasive surgery. So those very large destructive operations that were performed prior to 1990, we're now doing those same operations but through a minimally invasive approach. And so there's beginning to be a shift away from the chemotherapy and radiation as a primary treatment to one where we can minimally approach this cancer, not be as destructive as we were before, and give them the same cure rates as they had. It's quite exciting as a surgeon, especially because what we're focusing on, if we can get equal cure rates between the treatment choices, then we can focus on quality of life and outcomes. What is the patient like a year later after their treatment? What is their quality of life in that case? Can they get back to a, uh, a full life where they're working and again providing for the family, enjoying social activity, etc.? And some of these minimally invasive surgeries are allowing us to get that, uh, uh, provide that for the patient.